Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to carry out paired sample t-test in our studio. The video will include Brief description of paired sample t-test Summary statistics of the data Test for homogeneity of variances Performing paired sample t-test in our studio Paired sample t-test is also called the dependent sample t-test. It compares differences between two dependent mean scores. It is used to determine whether the mean difference between two sets of observations is zero. In a paired sample t-test each subject or entity is measured twice. This results in pairs of observations. The common application of paired sample t-test include case control studies or repeated measures. The paired sample t-test has the following assumptions. The dependent variable must be numeric and continuous. The observations are independent of one another. The dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed. The dependent variable should not contain any outliers. Let's carry out paired sample t-test in our studio. Suppose a training program was conducted to improve the participants' knowledge on ICT. Data were collected from a selected sample of 10 individuals before and after ICT training program. Test the hypothesis that the training is effective to improve the participants' knowledge on ICT at 5% level of significance. The null hypothesis is assumed that there is no difference in participants' knowledge before and after the ICT training. It also means the training did not improve the participants' knowledge. We shall test this hypothesis against the alternative hypothesis. It shows that the training has improved the participants' knowledge. This also means, the mean difference in participants' knowledge score is greater than zero. First create before and after as objects containing the scores of ICT training. Let's test the hypothesis at 5% level of significance. First, create data matrix using data.frame function. In this function you can define the variables. First variable is subject or individuals. As sample size is 10 so we shall repeat 1 to 10 twice. Second variable is time interval containing two level. Each level will be repeated 10 times. Third variable is ICT score representing response variable values. Use objects before and after as created earlier to represent scores. Let's print the data to see how it looks like. Use str function to see the structure of data. The first variable subject is a factor and you can change it to factor using as dot factor function. Using again structure function, you will see the variable has been changed to factor. Mask the components of data using attach function. Before proceeding for t-test let's see the summary statistics of the data. Use summary function to get the summary of scores. You can also get summary of each time intervals using by function. Type data object in data argument. In indices argument specify the second variable in quotation marks within square brackets. This will specify the variable to split it into its components. Summary function will apply summary to each component. You may be interested in the summary statistics of the difference of scores before and after ICT training. Put negative sign after the second time and before the first time to get the score differences. Again using summary function you will get the summary statistics for the differences. Now let's see the association or correlation between the paired samples. Use cor.test function. Type the components of time variable in x and y argument. In method argument we shall use Pearson which is most commonly used method. Let's test this relationship at 0.95 confidence level. The results shows that there is significantly strong relationship in before and after training scores. The correlation coefficient is 0.94 which is very close to 1. It reflects strong positive relationship or association in before and after ICT training score. You can visualize the data as scores versus time box plot. Use S and PTY argument to give plot a square shape. In box plot function write the dependent variable separated by group variable. This will produce box plot. 
you can change color, main title, X and Y labels by using color, main, X and Y lab arguments. Box plot are useful to visualize the summary statistics of the given data. Next you are also required to test the homogeneity in variances of time variable for ICT training scores. This argument will be required in t-test function. You can use Bartlett test where score is separated by time variable. The probability value is 0.82 which is higher than 0.05. This indicated there is no significant difference in variances. It also means variances are homogeneous. Now let's apply the paired sample t-test on data set. Use t.test function. Write score is separated by time as first argument. Write greater in alternative argument as the hypothesis is one-sided. Type 0 in mu argument. Write true for paired argument as the data contains repeated measures or paired observations. Write true for variance equality as the variances are homogeneous. Keep confidence level at 0.95. This corresponds to 95% chance of obtaining a result like the one that was observed if the null hypothesis was false. The results showed that the probability value is lower than 0.05. Lower the p-value, lower the evidence we have to support the null hypothesis. Based on this result, we shall reject the null hypothesis. It means ICT training significantly improved the participant's knowledge. This also means the true difference in scores regarding participant's knowledge is greater than zero. I hope this video will help you to understand how to carry out paired sample t-test using our program. Please comment below if you have any questions.